Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of KLA Sports. I'm your host Kyle Alexander and today we're going to continue with the free agency review in the AFC North. So we're going to head down to the last and final team, the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the Bengals did not have a great season as they ended up having the first overall pick. But uh, a lot of people are thinking that, that their fortune could change after they take the after they take the presumed first overall pick in Joe Burrow. So right now we're going to look at the following uh, additions and losses that they had in the offseason. I'm going to pop them up right here. Alright, so the Bengals have retained wide receiver A.J. Green as they cut them on the franchise tag. And he's a great receiver. He's one definitely a top one of the top receivers, top five receiver when healthy. Like he sat out or he missed all of last year with the injury. They didn't play a single down. And now he uh Bengals franchise tag. There were rumors about trading him, but now they're able to tag him and to retain him on a one uh on like a prove a deal, like see if you're still elite, which we know he is when he's healthy. It's just a matter of if he can stay healthy. And if you're if you're running the Bengals, you want that for Joe. If you're running the Bengals or if you're Joe Burrow, you want that. Like, you have your rookie quarterback coming in, and you're like, and you have a top-tier receiver. You want to have that duo. You want to have that connection. And then, uh, yeah, that's my take on that. All right, next up, we have the addition of defensive tackle DJ Reader. Who uh, they this was after they lost Andrew Billings, but I, I guess they're not worried about Andrew Billings right now, as they got DJ Reader who had a breakout year last year. He's a great run stuffer. Uh, he can he can get pressure on the cube, but that's not his forte. That's not a strong suit. He's more he's more of the run stopper, and Geno Atkins is the pass rusher. So that's going to be a great defensive front with um, with Geno Atkins. And DJ Reader even came out and said, um, in an interview, he said, "Who's gonna?" He said, "Who's gonna double team me and Atkins?" No, he's saying like, "Who's gonna be able to double team both of them?" Which he's right. You can't double team two people because that's gonna leave. That's definitely gonna leave somebody scot free, and uh, that's gonna be a scary defensive front. Uh, next up, they signed cornerbacks Trey Waynes and Mackenzie Alexander, both cornerbacks who came over from the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Trey Wayne is a nice veteran corner who is um he's good in coverage. It's not like he's uh listen, it's not like he's uh washed or anything. Like he like I said, he's still good. He's a veteran. Uh, he gives a nice veteran presence to te to help some of the young guys groom, uh, especially Mackenzie Alexander, who he's played with. So he already has a connection with one of the corners in Mackenzie Alexander, who's a young corner who's only going up from here. Uh, and that's a great pairing with Will Jackson after losing to Aquiz Denard. So if you have uh, Trey Waynes, Will, what was it? Will Jackson, and Mackenzie Alexander, Waynes can help to grow those corners, and the, um, Mackenzie Alexander can be your young cornerstone to pair with Will Jackson for the future in the long run. Uh, Bing was uh, kept adding to the secondary as they signed safety Von Bell from the New Orleans Saints. He's a nice young safety on the rise, and it was a great pairing, great player to pa to pair with Jesse Bates. Ooh. But um, I feel felt like I've seen this coming ever, ever since the Saints signed uh, Malcolm Jenkins from the Eagles. Ever since then, I'm thinking, all right, Von Bell is out of there, and um, I said he's a nice young safety. And the Bengals have a Bengals get a pretty young secondary from this off season. Uh, they also signed guard Xavier to a uh, fellow who's a good veteran lineman and will definitely help to give Joe Burrow protection. And um, what's the name? And yeah, so the Bengals get some protection for Burrow. And Jonah Jack was Jonah Williams can play next year. He missed this year with uh, injury with the ACL. So you got Jonah Williams, Billy Price, uh, Xavier to a fellow. Know some other players on that line. But, you know, that's a step in the right direction. You're upgrading the offensive line for your franchise quarterback in Joe Burrow. Then they also get linebacker Josh Bynes, who's a nice rotational linebacker who uh, can play outside. He's either going to be outside or they might move Jermaine Pratt to outside. They'll most likely keep Pratt in the inside. And uh, he's an underrated linebacker. He was an underrated linebacker last year. Last year for the Ravens, he had a pretty good season. He was 
Um, he is ranked pretty high on uh, PFF. I can't remember what uh, ranking he was. Like, he's good at getting to the quarterback. Like he's a good run stopper. He can uh, he'll come up to the line. He has a nice uh, ability to come like speed to come up to the line and stop the run or stop the play. And um, I mean not not terrible in coverage, but not exactly like spectacular or great. So, yeah, but again, this is a, uh, I think it was a good pickup for them. All right, now some losses. There's only two players, even though I said Andrew Billings, but they got the uh, DJ Reader. Tight, they lost tight end Tyler Eifert, who signed with the Jaguars. He's elite, but like AJ Green, he's injury prone. So if, uh, they were to have Eifert Green, was well, Eifert Green and Tyler Boyd for AJ for Joe Burrow. Uh, that's my name. That's what you want for your franchise quarterback. That's what you want on your team, because the way teams are building their rosters now. They they build up, they get a pretty solid foundation, then they draft a rookie QB while they're still building that uh, team with some veteran players. So that way, uh, you can spend money elsewhere while your QB is still on their rookie deal. But not only that, while they're on their rookie deal, you already have these elite players around them, so that's going to make them better. Like the Kansas City Chiefs, they had a great team before, draft Patrick Mahomes, uh, now they got now they just won the Super Bowl in Mahomes' third year or yeah third year or second year playing. Well, Mahomes had uh, Tyree Kill, uh, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, good O line, and they had a solid defense. So uh, even look at the Ravens, Marquise Brown, Willie Sneed, uh, Mark Andrews. They got a great O line. Lamar, uh, they signed Mark Ingram. They have a great defense. That's how teams are getting it done. So uh, if they were to have Ty Eifert, that would have been a great that would have been a great keep. But at the same time, he's injury prone, and you could probably look to draft the tight end. That seeing that uh, you have the first pick in the draft, so in the second round, you could probably take uh, Bryson Hopkins if he's still there, uh, who I think is the best tight end in the in the draft. But yeah, uh, and they also lost cornerback Darquise Denard. Who was supposed to go to Jacksonville too, but they uh, couldn't agree on the deal. So right now he's still a free agent, but he's one. He was one of the team's better defensive backs last year, and he's good in man coverage. But again, you signed two good veteran corners and Trey Waynes and a young player in Mackenzie Alexander. So I think that's a you're okay with letting him. You're okay with letting him walk. The Bengals he had a pretty good off season. The great I'll give them. Ooh. This, I'll give the Bengals. I'll give them an A. I'm gonna give them. A, uh, I'll give them an A minus. It's a good grade. Uh, they like I said, they kept AJ Green and they they used the tag on Green, so that they can give Bro the elite receiver. And even if they don't, they still got Tyler Boyd and even Auden Tate stepped up last year had a pretty good year. Uh, they got pressure. They got pressure on the defensive line with DJ Reader and Geno Atkins pairing up. Then they. Uh, Help to make the secondary lockdown with Trey Waynes, uh, Von Bell, and Mackenzie Alexander. Like they like I like what they did in the offseason. They because they Bengals they have a talented roster honestly, and they have a talented offense. Defense is their problem, so they focus they focus this free agency on the defense because they know they're getting a the quarterback. They know they can draft a lineman, and they I mean they signed the lineman. Uh, yeah, Xavier Suafilo. That's their only offensive signing in free agency. Uh, that and the AJ Green tag, like other than that, they focused on the defense solely. On the secondary, they got somebody to pair up with uh, Geno Atkins, so now they can get Burrow. And uh, uh, like uh, Bengals made a big upgrade from last year's team. Uh, much better defense since they focus on there, and they fo- uh, they focus on the secondary mainly. Those were their big signings, and they give Burrow a defense, or they. Not Burrow, like the team has a good defense, so that way it makes it easier for Burrow to uh, lay on a rookie quarterback. So that way he's not constantly playing from behind in games. And it's like one game, or it's like he'll constantly be, be playing behind like a 20 point deficit, 10 points, whatever, and the team, the other team just keeps scoring. This way you have a solid defense, so that way you have a solid and better defense who can get pressure on a quarterback. And force three and outs, or can take the ball away with Trey Wayne's Von Bell or uh, Mackenzie Alexander, and also with AJ Green that tag, 
you give Burrow a top receiver in the game. So that way, yeah, you're just making it easier for your rookie quarterback, and that's that's a, a good thing. And now you could take uh, now you take Burrow. Burrow's your first pick automatically. Could take Lyman in the second round, or you could uh, take a tight end in the second round. Either way, uh, or you could probably focus on O line because you have uh, C J Uzoma, who's not a bad tight end. He's not a bad uh, backup. So yeah, that's a good. Uh, this is a good off season for the Bengals as I give them an A minus. Uh, as they go ahead and get the franchise quarterback in Joe Burrow, this team's gonna look pretty good for the future. All right, that is it for this episode. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with what the Bengals did, uh, if who you would like the Bengals, who you would have liked the Bengals to go after. Also, let me know what you think they'll do in the draft, like uh, after Joe Burrow, like who you think they'll pick, and uh, let me know what you think of their offseason moves. And that's going to be it for the AFC North. So we're going to head over, head on over to the NFC North uh, for the next couple videos. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Everybody stay safe during this coronavirus outbreak. But until then, I will talk to you guys next time.